extra holiday morning like? Maybe sleeping in, maybe rushing around, getting the, the feast ready, or maybe you were among the thousands of people this morning who laced up the running shoes and hit the streets. WLWT News 5's Mariah Turner takes you downtown right now for the nation's oldest Thanksgiving Day race. Since 1908, people from all over the country and the world have made it a tradition to head to Cincinnati and join tri state runners in the annual Thanksgiving Day race. Celebrating its 105th year, it's the oldest road race of any kind in the Midwest. And judging by today's crowd, the race is not in any danger of running out of steam. It took more than 20 minutes for all of the runners to cross the starting line. And while most ran simply to stay warm, others came with ulterior motives. We are doing this so that we can burn 6,000 calories and eat all the food we want to. My goal for this race is to run um, marathon pace for me because I'm training for the Honolulu Marathon in two and a half weeks. And of course, plenty of people were geared up for a fun run, sporting Thanksgiving costumes from hats to full on turkey outfits. It's just a fun tradition. Kind of fun. Yeah, good tradition, great for families. Just a great day to be out. A little warmer uh, than last year, which is also great. Gonna... While the festivities were fun for most, more competitive spirits came strictly for the win. Eric Finan was the first man across the line. The Cincinnati native now lives in Minneapolis, but delivered a hometown message. I love Cincinnati. Cincinnati is my home. It's out of my heart. I love the Green City, so it's so much fun to come back and run this race. Amidst flurries and chilly conditions, thousands of runners crossed the finish line kicking off their turkey day the Cincinnati way. Downtown Mariah Turner, WLWT News 5. Congratulations to all of the runners this morning. And how about that winner there, the Cincinnati kid coming home, Eric Finan? He was the only runner to finish in under 30 minutes at 29 43.